Hey guys, it's Abby, um, Abby Labby. Um, I am going to kind of walk you guys through my Gatlinburg trip budget. Um, this kind of video isn't something that I have seen a whole lot of people do in this kind of community. Um, mainly because I think that, you know, when you're being, as Dave Ramsey says, gazelle intense, um, a vacation is not something that's really in the books, you know, um, and I understand that, you know, for you to reach your goals faster, a vacation probably isn't going to be the best option. Um, but I also do believe that it is very important, um, for you to, you know, take some time to relax, um, you know, get your why back. Um, I think a lot of people, when they start this journey, they, they know why they're doing all this stuff. They know, they, they understand, you know, where they're going and their goals. And then, it's, you know, usually along the way, we kind of lose our why, um, and you know, why we're doing this for, you know, for whatever reason. Um, and you know, this trip really made me realize, you know, I, I would love to do more trips like this and financially, um, we just, we can't afford it cause we're having to pay off this debt. So, um, that was my why, um, you know, I would love to start a family. I would love to buy a house, you know, all these things. And it made me realize like, I, you know, I love traveling and I didn't, I didn't know that I love traveling. Um, but yeah, so I, this trip definitely, it made me think you know, of all the possibilities of stuff that we could do in the future if we didn't have all this debt. And I think that it was definitely a good reset for me and my husband, um, even, you know, in our marriage, in our just conversation, you know, in the way that we're thinking. Um, so I think that, you know, definitely if you guys can budget it in to do just a little bit, just a little getaway, it doesn't, obviously it doesn't have to be to Gatlinburg. Um, this is just my example. Um, but just a little getaway, um, even if just for a weekend, you know, and it doesn't even have to be out of town. It could be, you know, get, um, push the kids off on grandma, grandpa, and, you know, go to a hotel for a weekend or stay in and make your, you know, make your husband a good dinner and, you know, watch a movie. Um, you know, we have to do stuff like that sometimes, you know, for ourselves. So anyways, now that I've rambled, um, Let's get started. So, um, number one, if you guys have never used Airbnb, VRBO, um, any of those type of websites to plan a vacation, you need to. Um, when I was originally planning this trip, I looked at, um, you know, because you can type in like uh, cabin rentals and stuff like that. And, you know, it'll pop up like all these different types of websites and, you know, just like real estate agents and stuff like that, that ran out their stuff. You guys, that stuff is so expensive. So, um, we stayed for, we went for four days. We stayed for three nights. So, um, for three nights at our Airbnb, which, um, was a cabin and it was private, so it wasn't like you were sharing it with anyone else. It was private. You did a, um, like a code on the door to check in. Um, I did not, I did not speak to the people the entire time um, that we were renting from, so that was good. The only, the only time that they communicated with me was um, on Airbnb's like um, app, and they were just you know checking on us, making sure we were doing okay. So, um, but that trip total was five twenty one oh five. Guys, that is significantly cheaper than going on like one of these rental websites. I think some of them I were looking at like three knots was at least double that. Um, so definitely look into Airbnb. Uh, you know, you may not be right in the middle of everything, um, which we weren't. We were about 20 minutes outside of Gatlinburg. Um, but we were like the view was beautiful. And I may insert, insert some pictures, but um, it was beautiful. Um, and it was just enough to where you felt like it was just so quiet, so serene. It was just enough where you felt like you were still around everybody and still around everything, but you still had your own time, you know, to yourself and it was quiet and not around, you know, a bunch of traffic and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so that was 521. Um, our gas, we had budgeted a hundred dollars. 
Um, we live about, it was, it's about an hour or sorry, seven and a half hours, about probably about eight by the time, you know, you make bathroom trips and stop and all that. My dog is whining. I don't know why he always whines, but so we budgeted a hundred dollars for gas. Um, especially since the gas prices did go up. Um, and like I said, that's about an eight hour drive for us, um, there and back. And then, like I said, we were about 20 minutes away from whatever we wanted to do. So anytime we had to go out, we did have to drive. So, um, we did that. And then for our food budget, we did $300 for food. So what I figured we were there for four days, um, Two of those days, we, you know, we drove up one day and we drove back one day. So, technically, we only spent two full days in Gatlinburg. Um, and me and my husband don't really, I mean, we ate like a late, late breakfast, usually around 10 or 11. And then we wouldn't eat again until dinner time, which usually was around, you know, 7 or 8 o'clock that night. So, um, really, we were just eating about two meals a day. Um out for two days and then you know the days that we got there and we you know came back we were just doing you know whatever it was fast fast food but um so yeah I budgeted $300 for food and this guy's like just because you go to you know you go somewhere doesn't mean you have to eat out every single meal either we could easily there was a grocery store there our cabin was fully equipped with you know it had a stove it had um you know dishes and pots and pans and stuff we could have easily you know gone to the grocery store and picked up something to make dinner at our cabin um, which is something that I encourage you guys to do if you guys are, you know, wanting to go on a vacation on a budget. Um, you know, if you can't afford $300 for food, then go to your, you know, make a meal plan. Figure out what you want to eat for your, you know, for your, for your family or for you too. And just, you know, stick to that meal plan and say, okay, this is what we're doing. And then you wouldn't even have to go out and eat. It's not, you know, you don't have to go out to eat just because you're on vacation. You know, you can save money and you can, you know, go grocery store shopping and then, you know, just make your own stuff. Um, so yeah, that was one area that we could have saved a whole lot of money on was definitely food. Um, and me and my husband don't really go out to out don't really go out to eat a whole, whole lot. So when we do, we do like to get what we want. And sometimes that is pretty expensive. Um, so yeah, uh, fun. We planned $400 for fun. So like I said, we were only there for two full days. So um, in between us eating and stuff like that, I mean, we didn't, like I said, we were there to relax. Like we, me and my husband, neither one of us are very go, go, go people. Like we don't, like we like to go do stuff, but I, you know, we like to do like one or two things and we're like, okay, like let's go home and take a nap. Like we're that type of people. So we planned 400. Um, yeah. So, and then the last thing that I planned for was road snacks. Cause like I said, it was an eight hour trip. So I planned $50 for that. So, in total, for this vacation that we went on, we were looking at $131.05. Now, this payment right here, this $521.05, Airbnb does let you um, do that in two different installments. So, I planned this vacation back in, I think, October? Yeah, in October, we planned this vacation. We decided that this is what we wanted to do for Christmas instead of get each other gifts. That's another way to, you know, be able to go and do a vacation. You know, me and my husband were like, you know, we both have, you know, everything that we need. We both didn't really, you know, just want anything, um, you know, too extravagant. So we were like, you know what, let's just go on a vacation instead um, for Christmas. And so we saved money for Christmas cause we didn't get each other anything and we decided to do this instead. So in October I booked our, our, um, cabin and it was like half of this. So it was like two, it was like 210 or something like that. And then, um, or you, you guys know what I'm saying? 260, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. So it was like 200 and something dollars for us to, to book that. And then about um, two weeks before we left, they charged my card again for the other half. So I paid like half like three months ago and then paid another half this, you know, couple weeks. So it's definitely doable if you, especially if you get something like this where the payment's only like $200, you know, take your, I know I'm going to 
scar some people, take your debt snowball them out and just be like, you know what? Like, let's just go on a vacation instead and let's plan a vacation and put that towards your vacation. Um, like I said, I know some people aren't going to agree with me on that, but I think that it's really important for your mental health um, and for your clarity in, in life is to get away sometimes. So anyways, so this we paid um, half half down and then half like a couple of days before or a couple of weeks before we went. Um, okay. So that is staying the same. So on our, now it's for the, the actual totals. Surprise, surprise. Um, we actually stayed under budget. We stayed actually well under budget, which I was actually really surprised about. Um, my husband is a spender. Um, I'm a spender, but when I know that I have goals in mind, I'm not like, I'm like, I can, I can be like, okay, like whatever. But my husband, um, backstory on him, he didn't, he grew up, um, very poor. Um, he never had any money growing up. Um, his parents still don't have any money. So he never got to go do stuff like this when he was a kid. Um, you know, I, I grew up middle class so there were you know I got to do stuff and my parents always make sure I had everything that I needed and wanted um but his was not so when we went and did stuff like this or when we go do stuff like this I allow him to spend a little bit more money because I know that this is something that he hasn't really done before um but he's never really been on a vacation before so um we did this and so on our food, these are our actuals. On our food, we ended up spending just right under budget at two sixty six oh four. And like I said, guys, that was um, down and back. We ate like one, like we just went and got fast food, and then ate one, you know, went one meal or you know just snacked or whatever. And then those two days that we were there, we ate breakfast and we ate dinner. Um, that last night, the last night that we were there, our dinner was $116. So you can see kind of like we, we pretty much stayed like around the, you know, 20 to $40 mark with our dinners and our breakfast. And then we had a big dinner before we left, um, which was just delicious. But so we stayed under budget for food, um, under our fun category. So let me kind of tell you guys what we did a little bit. Um, we did... We went to the aquarium that's there, um, which is supposed to be like, it's, it was a beautiful aquarium. Um, it was really interesting and sorry. Um, it was really interesting. Um, and it says that like, they're like the number one aquarium in North America or something like that, but it was, it was beautiful. Um, so we went and did that. Um, we went and did the, um, this sky bridge, which is like a ski lift up to on top of the mountain. And then you, there's like a suspension bridge. That's like the longest suspension bridge in North America as well. Um, and it takes you like way, way up there. And like I said, I'll insert some pictures so way you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, cause I know like I, a lot of you guys are from the South and you probably live around the Gatlinburg area. And if you haven't ever been, you need to go. It's just beautiful up there. Um, but yeah, so we went and did that. Um, and that was a good chunk of change. Um, we did a putt putt, um, on the, like on the strip, there's like a couple of putt putt places and we went in there, just did that just for something to do. Um, and then we also had to pay to park, um, Two different times so uh, yeah the two days that we went down in downtown we had to pay to park um, so I included that in our fun category um, so where we were at on fun which is why we were way under budget was 216.66 which you guys we had a fabulous time our cabin also had a, um, a hot tub on the deck of it and it was like looking out towards the mountains so that's what we did we were like let's go you know we went and ate dinner or we went and ate breakfast and did whatever we you know wanted to do that day and then we went back to the cabin and got in that hot tub and stayed in there until we were ready to go eat dinner I mean honestly like that was just like the best like it was just so like just relaxing so that's where we we saved a lot of fun because we were we're both like I said homebodies we don't like to go 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 all the time so we saved a lot there um, gas, 
This also kind of surprised me. We were at 68.20 for gas. And like I said, every time we, you know, it was an eight hour drive there and back, which my husband does drive a Ford Focus, which is has really good gas mileage. Um, we, I think we were getting about like 29 miles to the gallon or something like that. But um, we did that. And like like I said, where, where we were at staying at, it was about 20 minutes there and back from what we were wanting to do every time. So um, yeah, we did good with gas. And then the last thing was road snacks. And I don't know, something about me and my husband, anytime we drive anywhere, we like don't eat like we just drive 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 and we don't do anything so we only went and got road snacks which we went to the grocery store and got like some um snacks and stuff um and i had to get some excedrin because i think that the elevation is so high it was messing with my head and i had a headache every single day um but yeah so we went to the grocery store and got some stuff and it was 13.22 and i'm budgeted 50 dollars. so there's that but I understand, like, if you guys are driving any further or if you have kids and stuff like that, obviously, you're going to need more than that. But, so, yeah. So, as you can see, we were able to stay way under our budget. So, with our rental, it was $185.05, which, you guys, for a four-day vacation where you're staying in a cabin... You're also eating good. You're doing fun things. I think that this amount is fantastic. Um, I can tell you guys right now, we went to um, Pennsylvania, which is where my husband is from. Um, I think it was two years ago now. We almost spent this much just um, paying for one, I think it was like one night in the hotel. Like it was ridiculous up there. Um, so stuff like this. And that was, you know, a vacation that we went on because his uncle was getting married up there. But we were there for about the same amount of time, about a week, and um, spent at least three times this much. Um, so, yeah, it, it definitely, you know, you can go to places and do stuff on a budget. Um, and I don't want people to get discouraged um, because they can't go and do this type of stuff. Um, you know, this, if I know some of these people, they're putting this much on their debt, like just take a break for a second and do it. You know, you're not gonna, I don't think you'll regret it. Um, and like I said, now that I'm back, I feel very refreshed and I feel like that was just what I needed to like kind of get my mind in the right place. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys this because I didn't, like I said, I hadn't seen a whole lot of videos about, um, you know, budgeting a vacation. Um, and this was all cash flowed. So, um, the last like couple of paychecks, I've just been like, okay, well, we're going to the, like, I knew that I needed 300 for food. So I was like, okay, well, I'll save, you know, $50 a paycheck for that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like you just figure out how much money you need and you just budget every paycheck. You say, okay, well, this is how much money we need for our vacation. And that, you know, a lot of people do sinking funds and they'll do that that way. Um, you know, when you get up to, you know, how much you think that you need for a vacation, go do it. You have the money sitting there. Go do it. You know, it, it it's so amazing how like mint, like how like refreshed I feel. So anyways, but I just wanted to kind of share you guys, share that with you guys. Um, and this video may, may not be really liked or whatever, but it's fine. I just wanted to share it with you guys and, um, I'll insert some pictures and stuff at the end. Um, if you guys are interested in kind of seeing what it looks like and everything, but yeah. Um, so I will see you guys next time. I hope you like this video and subscribe and comment down below, um, where you're planning on going to vacation. If you're planning a vacation, if you just got back, um, post pictures. I'd love to see pictures of where you guys have gone. Um, like I said, me and my husband now, like that we've got like the travel bug, like we want to go and do, and he's like, we got home yesterday and he's like, where do you want to go next? So um, you know, obviously we've got some debt that we want to pay off and some goals that we want to hit. Um, but you know, like I said, I think it's very important, um, especially for me and my marriage, um, just to keep the ball rolling with the travel. Um, it makes us happy. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can have all this money in the world. You can have all your debt paid off. You can, you know, do all these things. And, um, but at the end of the day, if you're not happy, then what, what are we doing it for? You know, so um, anyways, but I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time.